Hi, and welcome back to Peer Tech Talk. Today I thought that we should take the step into the AI with the NXP and MCU Expresso and install Copilot for Eclipse into this environment. So see to that you have your MCU Expresso updated to the latest version. To do an update, you go under Help and you then hit Check for Updates. And it finds that uh, there was the software development kit for the MCX A153 it needs to be updated. So I just click finish. So now that when the update is done, we go under help again and we then go under Eclipse Marketplace. Under the search, we write Copilot. And we just hit uh, install. We accept the terms and conditions and hit finish. And when the installation is done, we need to restart our uh, MCU Expresso. So we just hit restart now. Okay, so now MCU Expresso has restarted. And what we can see now on the screen are two uh, new things that we have a new menu item up here called Copilot. And we can see the small man down here. And if we just uh, hover over it, it says out of screen, you can't see it, but it says go copilot sign in is required. And uh, if we go up here, we can also see that the status GitHub copilot sign in is required. Uh, it's mandatory that you have a GitHub account and you need to uh, log into that account. So. We can also see here under preferences, under resources, under resources, there is this license tab. And uh, there are, uh, this application is free of use if you use the version that is free. But there is also a pro version that you will get for when you install it first time. That is a free 30 day one time uh, license that you can test for 30 days. And when that 30 days are gone, and uh, then you're offered to uh, to pay for uh, additional time, then you pay $10 per month or $100 per year. And there are also two other uh, licenses that you can uh, uh, opt for. But in my case, I will go with the individual free. So I will just apply to this one and go on the Copilot and sign into Copilot. There we get a device code uh, and that device code is there. I am blurring it out. I'm not sure if it's uh, needed to blur it out, but we just hit uh, copy code and open. So then I'm getting into my GitHub account. Uh, so I'm signed in as Pia Tech Talk. So I press continue. And then we are needed to enter that code that we just um, uh, copied from the first screen. Uh, so we just control paste here and hit continue. And it says Copilot's plugin by GitHub would like permission to. So what we do here, we just hit authorize GitHub Copilot plugin. Congratulations, you are set. So we can go back to this and wait for it. Now you have su successfully signed in and authorized GitHub account copilot access for your GitHub account. Okay. So now we can see the little man in the corner. It says copilot is ready. And if we just hover over this one, it says also it's ready. So this was the install and uh, I will maybe make some uh, videos uh, coming uh, on how to use it, uh, but uh, there are some helps inside it as well. 
Hope that you found it interesting. Don't forget to subscribe and like. And if you have something to tell me, please give some, me some information in the chat below. Until I see you next time, stay safe. Bye.